Welcome to College Football Live Extra presented by AT&T with Robert Smith. I'm Eric Casilius. All right. I know the favorites are going to win. I know Cal's going <laughs> to smash Washington State. I know Florida. They may struggle, but they're going to get it done. Who's a team that could go down? I think definitely when you look at this Miami-Clemson game, Miami is the kind of team that could certainly lose in an upset this weekend to Clemson. Now, Clemson's had some tough losses this year. They lost to TCU. They lost to Georgia Tech. Uh, they've struggled a little bit, but I think when you look at this Miami team, what they did last week against Central Florida, gave up six sacks. Ja'Cory Harris was sacked six times in that ball game. They've had some problems with protection, and when you look at Clemson, it's certainly something that they can do, applying pressure to a quarterback. Ricky Sapp, Daquan Bowers on that defensive line, they could certainly uh, get after Ja'Cory Harris in this one, and they're certainly uh, capable of scoring some points, not just offensively, but special teams as well. Jacoby Ford, C.J. Spiller, two of the most dangerous return men in the country, so watch out for that one. And the games they've lost, you mentioned TCU, Georgia Tech, those are elite teams. It's not like these are average football teams. Now, Maryland, now Maryland will we'll let I, that I, one slide. No. I, I try not to remember that one. I only remember TCU, and I don't remember Georgia Tech. I refuse to acknowledge any other loss, but we'll see about Clemson. As you said, they have the ability to jump up and bite you, and that could happen with Miami. This has been College Football Live Extra presented by AT&T. Again, you can check us out on College Football Live every Monday through Friday, 3.30 Eastern, except Mondays. We back it up a half hour and go at 3 o'clock. Now time for the AT&T Player of the Week. Every week we honor the ESPN AT&T All-America Player of the Week. This week, it's Mark Ingram of Alabama. Crimson Tide running back went for 246 yards, averaging over 10 yards per carry against South Carolina in the Crimson Tide's 20-6 victory. You can get in on the boat every week. Just text vote to 345-345 on your wireless phone. And when you do, you also enter for a chance to win a trip to the national championship game.